Hey guys, what's up? I figured since I'm getting ready for my bike trip and just going over all the details and what I'm going to bring and stuff that I'd lay it all out and do a little quick video about what I'm taking on my trip. So here we go. So this is it. This is everything that I will bring for a two week trip down the Pacific coast from San Francisco back home to Los Angeles. And just real quickly, I'll go through each item. Um, over here is clothes. I think that, unlike many cyclists, I probably have a lot to learn in the clothing department. I, I basically just usually tend to wear street clothes while I'm riding, which is what I'm going to be doing this time as well. So I'm bringing two long sleeve shirts, three t-shirts, a pair of swim trunks, a windbreaker. I got three pairs of socks and underwears over here. I know that's kind of probably a lot, overkill maybe, more than what most people bring, so I might pare that down, I'm not sure. I just don't really like the idea of having to do laundry all every couple of days or whatever, but we'll see what happens. I got a pair of sweats, which I'll use for sleeping. <clears throat> and a pair of jeans and I'll be wearing some shorts and if it gets cold I'll just switch out to the jeans like I said I ride in street clothes so I want to be able to just do that and be comfortable and if I if I learn that that wasn't the right thing to do then I'll adjust from there on my next excursion um, so I have a bandana in case I need one for anything to block sun off my neck or anything like that I have a little sweat rag towel that I'll keep handy throughout the day and then a little sort of bathroom sort of hand towel thing to if I want to, you know, take a shower or go in the ocean and dry off or whatever. Uh, I got four water bottles. This is my tent, which I'll list everything what the specific items are in the description. It's a big Agnes uh, copper spur two person tent. Um, it fits in this waterproof bag. Here's the stakes for it and the poles. This is a Sea to Summit sleeping pad, insulated sleeping pad. An inflatable pillow, sleeping bag, of course helmet. This is uh, just a little bag. It's like it folds. It. Here, let's see if I can do this with one hand. It, it opens up to just a little bag. And this I will use, just like that, I'll use this for dirty laundry. I got some paper and pen, if in case I need it, I got maps, flip-flops. This is a rain poncho I got from CVS or Walgreens or one of those types of places. Helmet, bag of toiletries, this is just sort of a simulation of overthinking the toiletries. This isn't actually everything, but I just wanted to throw a bag together of toiletries. Um, I'm probably going overkill there too from what most people do but I want to have my deodorant. I need contact stuff. I need toothpaste and floss and just all the stuff that I would need here I'm bringing in a small version. Um, for electronics I have two power banks. I have a 20,000 and a 10,000 milliamp power bank so I have 30,000 which is I know a lot but I'll be using my phone for for everything, for navigation, for filming everything, for communication, and then maybe even a little entertainment sometimes too. So I need to be able to have this thing powered all the time. Um, so I have a charger, and then a backup charger, and then I have three cables. So I can plug two things in at the same time, then a backup. Headphones, I got a front light two rear lights which I use at the same time and then they blink kind of together which makes a crazy pattern and then it's real much more noticeable than just one wallet of course sunglasses man this thing's having a hard time focusing sorry this is oh there we go that wow okay sorry for how jumpy this is I'm holding my phone and filming and this is super awkward but I'm doing it anyway so fo uh, sunglasses my regular glasses are in there for at night. I can take my contacts out. I got a knife, 
I got a bike multi-tool, which is also going to double as a camera holder. I'm going to, if you lift these up on both sides, I'm use, using my phone to film right now, so I can't really do it, but if you lift both sides up and then put your phone in there, you can rest it in and make a little mini tripod. I learned that from Seth Spike Hacks. I got tire levers, got a little pump, I got an extra cord if I need to repair anything. I got a first aid kit which has some random stuff. Um, it's the very basic. It's got it's got some antiseptic wipes and stuff, and it's got repair kits for for tires, tubes. I mean, uh, repair kit for the sleeping pad. It's got some safety pins. It's got some stuff. I'm also gonna bring some painkiller stuff. Some regulars, and then a couple of real strong ones in case I like break a leg or something crazy like that. Um, little pump, chain lube, bike rag, extra tube, a couple of locks, I might even get a different lock than these, I'm not totally sure yet. Um, for the kitchen, I'm just bringing a cup, which I have this as a simulation, or I might just actually use this one and sand those edges down a little. I don't know, is it focusing? Anyway, um, this is just simulating food. I'm going to have much more than this, of course. I'm going to bring some oatmeal, and I'm going to bring some raisins, and I'm going to bring some peanut butter, and I'm going to bring some pouches of tuna, and maybe a couple of little extra goodies and things as well. So I'll have enough for breakfasts and lunches every day, and then probably just stop for dinner meals and grab something I can, like a burrito or something I can throw in my pack and take to a campsite. Um, I have a spoon, of course. I have extra Ziploc bags because not all of my bags on the bike are waterproof so if, if it does rain I'm going to need to put things like my power banks and things like that into Ziploc bags and then last but not least I have this chest mount that I got to put my phone in um, let's see so you can kind of see how this works it goes on your shoulder and it just holds your phone on your chest and then I can get filming while riding footage so that will be cool because I've actually haven't even tested that yet but I have never been able to film while riding yet and I've been wanting to so here's everything that's two weeks worth of stuff but really that would be anything from three or four days to months really um, and then in a sec I will pack it up all on the bike and show you what that looks like so here goes that. All right, and there it is. I think the lighting's kind of bad in here, so it's not so easy to see everything. But I'm just going to really quickly just go through this. Uh, water bottles are on the fork. All those fork mounts were already there built in. Um, tent strapped up to here. Right now it's just tied on, but I'm going to have actual straps holding that in. Front light. In here is my cup and my locks, sunglasses, sweat rag. This one has my wallet and my glasses. Has a knife right there. Multi-tool right here. Inside here is phone and one of those chargers to keep it charging while I'm riding. Inside the frame bag is the tent poles that lay kind of down in here. And then food, toiletries, the other power bank, maybe one or two other miscellaneous things. Down here in the back, we got some safety items. There's the blinky lights I was talking about. Uh, this has sleeping bags, sleeping pad, flip-flops, windbreaker. And this has all the rest of my clothes. Believe it or not, that whole stack of clothes fits in there. And then this has basically everything else, all the tools, electronics, poncho, rain poncho, um, the chest mount, all that stuff is in here. So that's it. That's what I'll be taking with me on my bike trip, my first bike tour. I'm completely terrified and completely excited. I leave in just under three weeks. And... I'll be documenting it, so I hope you, if you're interested, follow along on the journey. And I thank you so much for being here with me. 
and I send you all blessings and love. Take care.